Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today I'm going to give you a bunch of tips on how to use the crop tool in Lightroom. Now there's a lot of tips. I'm going to be giving them to you one after the other. So you may want to grab a pen and paper and take some notes. Let's begin. Now, no matter what module you're in, for example, I'm in the library module right now. If I just want to jump right to the crop tool, hit the R key on the keyboard. And when I do that, it will jump right to the develop module and open up the crop tool. Now, for this image, it's crooked and I want to straighten it. I, of course, then could go to the crop tool and take the little level tool or straighten tool. Instead, what's faster is hold the command key in on a Mac, control key on a PC. When you do that with that key held in, you'll turn the cursor into the level tool. Then I could come in and level the image just like that, nice and straight. Now, you're probably aware that if I grab any handle uh, with this padlock locked, I'll keep this two to three aspect ratio. But if I pull, let's say from the top right hand corner, it's gonna pull in from that corner. Or if I go to the bottom, it's gonna push up from the bottom. Well, what if you would like to crop everything into the center? Hold in the Alt or Option key, Alt if you have a PC option, if you have a Mac. When you do that and you grab any handle, you'll just crop it to the center. So very simple, just like that. Now, if I want to reset the crop tool, of course, I could just come over here and hit the reset button. But a keyboard shortcut is Option Command R on a Mac or Alt Control R on a PC. And when you do that, you'll reset the crop tool. Now I'm gonna undo that by hitting Command Z on my Mac, it's Control Z on a PC. Now, as you look at the crop right now, you'll see there's an overlay there, that's a rule of thirds overlay. You could change the overlay, hit the O key on your keyboard. If I hit it once, I get this kind of diamond pattern. Hit it again, I get this kind of plus or just a horizontal and vertical line. Hit it again, I get this kind of like triangle pattern. Now on a pattern like this, it could be shifted the other way. You could see how it's going from the top left-hand corner to the bottom right-hand corner. If I want it instead to go from the top right-hand corner to the bottom left-hand corner, hold in the shift key and hit O, and then I'll flip it like that. So I could keep doing that. So we'll continue hitting the O key. The next is uh, kind of a golden ratio. It's kind of similar to a rule of thirds, a little bit different ratio though. If I hit the O key again, I get the golden spiral. Uh, this again is one of those ones that I could flip around by holding in the shift key and hitting the O key and I could continually flip that into different orientations. Hit the O key again and I get crop uh, overlay. So it shows me four by five, five by seven, two by three. If I hit the O key again, I get a grid. I hit the O key again, I'm right back where I started with my rule of thirds. Now, one thing that may help you crop an image is if you make it less busy, get rid of everything around this. So what you could do is you could go to lights out mode. To do that, hit the L key twice. If I hit it once, it dims everything. But if I hit it again, everything's dark. But my crop overlays are still there and I could come in and crop the image. Uh, that may help me better uh, see the way I want it to be cropped. To get back to normal mode, just hit that L key again. So lights dim is once, lights out is twice, and lights on is three times. Now right now I'm creating a horizontal crop. If I wanna flip it vertical, hit the X key on my keyboard and I have a vertical crop. Hit the X key again and I'll go back to a horizontal crop and I'll bring it back out a little bit. Now, right now, over on the right-hand side, you can see that that padlock is locked so that if I grab any handle, I'm going to stay in this two to three aspect ratio or the original aspect ratio I shot at. If I could then click that little padlock to unlock it. Uh, keyboard shortcut, hit the A key on your keyboard. When you hit the A key on the keyboard, you unlock that automatically, and then you could crop it outside of that original aspect ratio. Hit the A key again, and you'll lock that padlock again. Now, let's just say for the sake of argument, I go to this dropdown, and I want to crop this five by seven. Now, let's do something a little more obvious. Let's um, go to a four by three. So I have this crop four by three, and I like that crop. So I'm gonna close this down. Now, let's say on my very next image, 
I want to crop this 4x3 as well. All I need to do is hit the Shift A key and it will automatically open up the crop tool and apply that 4x3 ratio uh, to this image as well. It leaves the crop tool open so that I could adjust it if I need to and then close the crop tool to accept it. Now if you have an image and let's say you start to crop it, let's open this up and I start to crop it so I bring it down here like that and let's just say I want to abandon this. I had mentioned before that you could reset your crop tool by hitting uh, Option Command R on a Mac or Alt Control R on a PC. If you just want to abandon it altogether, just hit the Escape key on your keyboard and you abandon the crop altogether. So there are a bunch of cropping tips. I, I didn't count them, but there's quite a few there. Hopefully those help you better utilize the crop tool in your workflow. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.